today we are going to learn how to do pleural fluid aspiration you can see that uh, this is x ray of 156 years lady she is having left sided pleural effusion and we are going to learn how to do pleural fluid aspiration today this is the lady, uh, just now we showed uh, her x-ray, she was having left sided pleural effusion. Uh, today uh, we are having Dr. Jyoti, she is a pul our pulmonologist and today she is going to do pleural fluid aspiration. I am going to explain how to do that. Okay, this patient, we already uh, marked uh, where we should do the pleural fluid aspiration uh, by the ultrasound guided. You can see that there is a mark. In this place we are going to aspirate. Okay, so, uh, now you will see the what are the things needed to do pleural fluid aspiration. We are having a septic uh, tray which is requiring the betadine solution and uh, spirit, all the three way and one IV cannula and gauze pieces, syringes and local anesthetic. Okay. okay. Now we prepared the area where we will aspirate. Uh, we followed aseptic uh, precaution. Uh, everyone should follow aseptic precautions while doing the cold fluid aspiration because there is a risk of infections. And uh, while doing cleaning, you should always do from center to periphery. Okay. Now, uh, Dr. Jyoti going to inject local anesthesia in the area. While doing the local anesthesia, always draw the needle, draw the syringe to see whether the blood is coming or not, then you should inject. Show here how she is drawing the her syringe. Yes, here you can see that there is a free flow of pleural fluid. Okay, show this. Uh, you can see that this is the way to arrange uh, syringe along with the needle with the three way and IV set because while doing pleural fluid aspiration there is a risk of pneumothorax this setup going to prevent uh, pneumothorax so you should always attach the needle with the syringe with the three way and you should always close on the side of the IV set so that the air won't enter now Dr. Jyoti will do the procedure and while doing the procedure Always, you should always put your syringe on the upper border of the lower rib so that you will prevent the injury of the intercostal vessels which are which will be present on the lower border of the upper rib. So, always go on the upper border of the lower rib. Okay, Dr. Jyoti, you proceed and tell them what you are doing. Uh, so, I am confirming the position where to uh, aspirate and uh, follow the previously I have given lignocaine so in the same space itself I am going with the aspiration so I have taken some lignocaine in this aspiration set also so I am just aspirating and confirming yes yes, yes. now you can see that dry draw that there is a free flow of Pleural fluid. Yes. So this is confirmatory. We are in the pleural fluids, uh, pleural space, and we are getting pleural fluid freely. Okay, continue. So while aspirating, uh, uh, always guard the tip of the needle uh, with one of your fingers so that uh, while aspirating, the needle tip shouldn't go too much inside and cause trauma to the underlying lung. So uh, guard it with one uh, finger, and with other fingers, just uh, secure the three-way system. So as uh, nothing will go open while you aspirate. So after after okay. aspirating uh, around the 10 ml, then we have to discard this into the euro bag. Now you see that how she will do the 
chlorophyll uh, discard into the uh, now you will see how the chlorophyll will go into the euro bag through the ivy set so now she will close to the to the needle side and she will open she open to the iv set side so that the fluid from the syringe it will go into the iv set through iv set it will go to the euro bag now you can see that show the euro bag yes okay proceed and please once again explain what you are doing today so um uh, every time while uh, injecting into the iv set you have to guard your uh, needle tip and uh, in the same position it's a slowly giving a steady pressure slowly we have to aspirate Okay. Now we completed our chlorophyll aspiration procedure. We removed around uh, more than one liter of chlorophyll. Now we are going to close it and we are going to remove the needle and uh, keep it with the betadine gauze and we'll seal it. Doctor um, Jyoti, please proceed. Okay, now we completed and we given plaster also. Uh, please like, subscribe to my channel for more uh, interesting medical videos. Thank you.